Okay, Danny, this week I have you going up against Bryce Hoffer. I wanted to show you what he does really well that I want you to work on. Okay? We've been talking about sitting in your load. And I have you guys both frozen here right when you're about to start your load, which is right when you're both about to lift up your front foot here. And when that front foot goes up, all your weight goes into your backside, right, around here. And we've been talking about sitting into that load. And I want you to notice Bryce's backside here. His, his, look, at his, look at his back leg, how he's, he's sitting. Look how low from his hip to his knee is, how bent that is. Now watch what happens there. As, this, as I move forward, his front foot's about to come off the ground to load. Don't load as high as he does. But watch his, his, his butt side here. Sit. Okay? He's sitting in a chair. Watch. Down. Oops. Too far. Down. Down. And then, as I move him forward... Watch him step to the pitcher. He's staying down there in that nice crouch. See, this backside is still really bent. And we've been talking about that with you a lot. Watch, you're about to load. And look how straight up and down that back foot is. Okay? Last week, you did a great job of staying down there. Get low and stay low. And what happens is, when you're in your backyard on a tee, it's real easy for you to think about all the stuff you're supposed to do in your swing. But now, you're outside and the ball is actually moving, even though it's soft toss, but it's moving, that makes it harder. So I want to go back to working on that. All right, Danny? That's number one. Now I want to point out what happens to your hands when you load. Let's watch Harper again. Okay, I'm going to back him up just about to start his load, okay, and what happens is, when he loads up, okay, I want you to watch his front side, and I, I don't want you to do that big giant leg raise like he does, that's really hard to do, that's not the point, it's that his foot, he's going to lift his foot when he loads, the front foot, and stride to the pitcher, and when he does that, his hands stay up high until his front foot hits the ground. Check it out. Hands are going up right there. Okay? See, so he's striding to the pitcher. Look how, hard, how high his hands get. Watch. Now he's going toward the pitcher. Hands are going up. Hands up. Staying up by that back shoulder. Up. His front shoulder, look at his shoulder tilt. His front shoulder is going way down toward the ground, okay? It's lower than the back shoulder. And that front shoulder right here is also going to come in toward home plate. Watch. Hands go up. Now let's check you out, Danny. Ready? You're going to stride. I want you to watch what happens to your backside, your hands, your elbow. Look how high his back elbow is. Now, I don't need, you don't need to get it way up there, but look where yours is. Okay? Look what happens to you when you stride. Look, what, look at your back elbow goes. See? where well, you have it when you're waiting. This is good. This is pre-pitch. You're waiting. For, your pitch is about to wind up and throw that baseball. All that whole setup is really, really good. See how your elbows, both elbows are in the, or this one is nice and high. This one, this one, you have yet that nice bend, those good angles from there to there. All good. Okay? Now when you load, I want to see the knob of the bat go into the catcher's feet here. I'd like to change that angle a little bit, and I'd like you to get your back shoulder, or your front shoulder, I'm sorry, to go down like this, low than the back. But other than that, you're pretty good. Here's what happens though, is once you stride, once you start stepping toward the pitcher, this comes down. Ready? Down. 
I'm just watching right in here. Down. 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 And your front foot. Let's see what happens when your front foot hits the ground. Right there. There's your front foot on the ground. Okay, Danny? Front foot gets the ground and you're and this part up here is all dropping down. Watch Harper. His front foot is a, uh, is in the air. Hands are high. Front foot's on the ground. Hands are way up there. Elbows way up there. Way up there. Your front foot hits the ground. You lift up your front foot. Hands are coming down. This foot's still in the air. All right, Danny? So two things to work on this week. Keep those hands up. I know you know, you know what we're talking about because we did it at the practice. Keep those hands up. This position is pretty good. I lost Bryce. This position right up here is pretty good. I like it. And see, when you stride the knob, knob gets to the catcher's feet almost. But the hands come down. And you're coming up out of your crouch. So sit into that crouch and keep the hands up until the front foot hits the ground. Right there. Hands got to be up here. Elbow. This elbow right here. It's got to be up here by the back shoulder. All right, Danny. I'm loving all the work you're doing. Get out there for me. Do it again. And we'll talk about it next week.